Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Now, welcome back to my channel. I have a patron request from Doug. Doug is also known as Gatekeeper. He is my moderator on Discord, a subscriber, a patron, just overall good person in general and wants me to watch things that he knows I'll probably enjoy. Now, this one's tricky, Doug. This one's tricky because he wants me to watch Electric Callboy for the first time. So welcome to my series of first time hearing. I have a whole playlist on artists, bands that I've heard for the first time ever, including Aurora, The Warning, Dimash, etc. Go check it out. I'm just going on my Discord to see what Doug told me about this. And he said, wow, I just searched your channel and you have never reacted to the German metal band Electric Callboy. Well, if no one gets around to it, this should be my next request. So he wants me to watch We Got the Moves live uh, from Electric Callboy, but it's uh, in 2022. He said it's an amazing combination of heavy metal and Backstreet Boys-ish pop. <laughs> Just for the record, I was never a BSB fan, okay? I was an NSYNC girl. I feel like back then, it was like you had to choose, but like for real though, I just never liked the Backstreet Boys. Don't get me wrong, I know their songs. My sister was a hardcore BSB fan. She still is to this day. So I'm aware of the amount of amazing songs they have. I personally just don't listen to them. I was an NSYNC girl. Still am, minus one member you could guess who okay let's watch this heavy metal boy band <laughs> i'm so excited because i love heavy metal but i also love pop music so this is this is either going to be so good or so bad but by the looks of the lead singer's haircut <laughs> i just don't know what's going to happen i'm scared you guys Okay, why can't I hear anything? Those are some outfits! This is so interesting. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> this is so cool. What a vibe. I'm obsessed. <laughs> They're so cheesy, I love it. Oh, 
Oh, that's so cool. Okay, as always, Doug, you know my taste in music so well. That was sick. I don't care. That was like the best mix of pop metal I've ever heard. And the thing is, I love those albums, Pop Goes Punk, because I love pop music, but I always think it sounds better when it's like punk, metal, rock, alternative, etc. I love when people cover pop songs and turn them into rock music, regardless of rock genre. So this is right up my alley. I think they are so fun, they're so silly, but they're so talented. The poppy parts are super fun, but the metal parts are what like intrigue me about this band. They are so cool. Oh my God, I was worried I wasn't gonna like them. I'm not gonna lie. I've been listening to a lot of like genre bending metal music and some of it is just not good. It's just not good. And some of it's wonderful. Uh, so it just really depends, I guess, on your taste in music. I think this band is hilarious. I just think it's a ball of fun. I feel like I would go to their concert and not know a single word to any song and still have a blast. You know what I mean? They are a good time. Okay, let me look into them a little bit. Electric Callboy is a German electronic core band formed in Kastrup, Roxel in 2010. Okay, so they've been a band for like 14 years. They take a more relaxed approach to the genre and are known for their comedic songs, live shows, and videos. Okay, see, they are funny. They're just silly. I'm not going to lie, the lead singer kind of looks like Snow. Do you know the singer Snow? I'll put a picture up. I don't know why. I'm just... It's just this picture I'm seeing of him for the official music video, like the still. It just looks like Snow is wearing a wig and glasses. <laughs> Can you imagine if that was him? I would die. I love Snow. If you don't know Snow, you know the song. In Fama. I like even boom down. I'm going to do that again. So you have Nico on vocals. Okay, so this picture of him on Wiki does not look like Snow, but I don't know. Uh, Kevin, Sebastian, David, Daniel, Pascal, another Daniel, and Michael. Um, okay, Sebastian's no longer the lead vocalist. Okay, so Nico has actually only been in the band since 2020. Very cool. Um, and I believe Michael left in 2012. Okay, so everyone else is still in the band. Very cool. They're also known as Eskimo Callboy. So that was their band name from 2010 to 2022. So assuming they got a new vocalist and um, they decided to change it to Electric Callboy. Interesting. Their first title EP was self-released in 2010. Later, the band re-released the EP via their actual recording label. The band was a support act for groups like Bakushan... I don't know any of those bands, so I'm not going to talk about it. The band's musical style can be described as electronic core, metalcore, melodic metalcore, post-hardcore, EDM, comedy rock, dubstep, and electro. The musicians named bands like Asking Alexandria and Attack Attack as their musical influences. Their singer stated that the musicians don't feel like being a part of the hardcore music scene. The lyrics deal with themes such as getting drunk, parties, and sex. The band called their music porno metal. In an interview in the German magazine Fuse, vocalist Sebastian said that their lyrics only use cliches in a satirical way. German Metal Hammer magazine published a positive review of the band, writing, This is why Eskimo Callboy is enjoyable, because they dismiss themselves and let the fun roll. They are such a ball of fun. That is such a great song. I fully am going to go on Spotify and like it and add it to... Uh, my driving around car playlist. Oh my God, what fun is that? I can't even deal. That's so cool. And I really appreciate it, Doug, that you sent me a live video because 
The crowd interaction was stupid, and I love that. You guys know the frisian is real when crowds sing along or participate with bands on stage. So I love watching a live video of a band or an artist for the first time ever hearing them because I feel like it sets the tone. Because sometimes when you listen to an artist and it's like a studio version and then you see them live, you're just like, hmm, interesting. But alas, I have listened to a ton of new artists lately, like... Laura Fabian and Dimash and their live video is just insane how amazing they are. So I love listening to new artists for the first time. It's literally either a hit or miss, but I never give up. So if there is a new artist out there or an old artist that I've never listened to, throw it in the comments and I'll check it out eventually. I'm sure I will, but I love the recommendations for sure. Okay, guys, if you are an Electric Cowboy fan, I need to know what I'm going to do next because I think this is so fun and now it really makes me want to like dive deep into their music. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm still not going to watch their music videos. I know they're funny and they're silly, whatever, but I hate music videos, especially funny and silly music videos. And I know that's their whole vibe, so I'd rather just watch live performances of them or hear audio. If you really think I should watch a music video, fine, throw it in the comments, but it's probably just gonna be a boring video of me going, Ugh. <laughs> so I'm just warning you now. Guys, my vinyl of the day is Paramore's self-titled album. I'm so excited to open this and spin it. It's a hot pink and neon orange vinyl. Um, I now own every single Paramore album on vinyl, which makes me really, really happy because that was one of my goals this year. So I did it. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is not my favorite Paramore album, but it does have a lot of great songs on it. So I highly suggest you check it out. My favorite song on this album is Last Hope, but unfortunately the version I love the most is the live version and you can find it on Spotify and Apple Music and whatnot. Um, but the live version is so superior than the album version. So go check it out, go listen to Paramore and I'll see you guys in my next video.